Hey Capricorn, how are you doing? This reading is for Capricorn for the week of April the 1st to the 7th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Capricorn, if you're new to my channel, I'm a Capricorn moon. I also have three placements of Capricorn in my chart. So we get you guys. I feel you guys. I'm here for you guys. This is a safe place to be. So chill out, relax, and enjoy the reading. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful Capricorns? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest, highest good? I was going to say for your highest gift. So some of you are not using your gifts or showing them off. Present time, the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What's coming towards you? The Star, Major Arcana for Aquarius. What you are focused on is the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What you're releasing and letting go of is the Lovers, Major Arcana for Gemini. And your outcome is the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Okay, Capricorn, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups can be somebody who is very charming, wants to take you on a date, sweep you off your feet. It is also an element of you putting your heart forward here, something to do with creativity, showing off your artsy-fartsy side. And you could get a lot of attention for this to step into your spotlight. Or there is a lot of attraction, like all eyes could be on you. Or you have eyes on this King of Wands. Or the King of Wands could be your boss. But it can also be like a business partner. Somebody who is scoping you out, scouting you out, I want to say. Because what you're releasing and letting go of is the lovers. And the lovers is about transparency, vulnerability, and authenticity. And vulnerability, as you can see, you know, on the star card, there's nakiness. And that's very vulnerable. So a need for you to trust the process. But I feel like there's some kind of truth in communication. Or you've Come to some kind of truth within yourself and making some kind of choice here. And when you make this choice, you're putting an end to something and pursuing something else. And yeah, this could be like soul tie, soul bond. It also could be a work situation. Maybe you're just not feeling it anymore. So you're in pursuit of joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. And, you know, there could be a king of wands in your environment this person could be motivating and inspiring you or you motivate and inspire others star card can also be healing and the eight of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy paying attention to your intuition for some of you, trust your gut feelings when it does come to work. Or you could be working on your gifts, your skills, your talents. You're a hard worker. But that's what I was saying about somebody looking at you or watching you work. Or they like the way that you work. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is mastery of craft. Paying attention to that detail you're very detail oriented or somebody likes that about you you're very organized let's see what this star card is about hope faith believing in oneself trust innovation or this could be like wishes granted wish fulfillment or somebody is seeing you as this and the eight of wands positive communication forward movement, excitement in the air. This is where you blossom. This is where you thrive. But that eight of wands can also be the arrows of love. Or you are gaining some kind of momentum or picking up some kind of rapid steam. I also want to say there could be like 
attention on you or attentiveness. I'm just getting like attentive or it's for you. Pay attention, pay attention. And I feel like you are. It's like your laser focus. You do have the death card there. There's something changing within you or change in how you work or even working on yourself, adding play, but at the same time being grounded. Yeah, that could be like fast incoming, outgoing, positive communication. Or there's something about like momentum or travel. Traveling to a destination. It's actually making you step out here, Capricorn. And it's you having confidence to be vulnerable, to put something out there. And this could be like putting yourself out there. Yes, it's going to take vulnerability and vulnerability is scary because there's always that, what if I get rejected? What if someone doesn't like me? Who cares? Because that king of wands doesn't give a flying flip-flop to the flip of what anyone thinks of he or she. They just do what they want. You know, this is somebody who is a visionary or you have a big vision for yourself. Same thing with that King of Wands. Could be somebody who is desirable, attractive, confident, bold. Or you could be like in a authority role, I want to say. Like asserting or not barking orders. But there's just something about detail. I don't know what it is. Let's just see what this King of Wands is. It's like traveling or leveling up to success or there's something about and the two of swords gemini libra aquarius energy with that two of swords you know can be a stalemate or feeling stuck at a crossroads this person can also be saying something like that to you or they're not fully disclosing some kind of information or it's you because two swords is one's the truth and one's an illusion but this is why i was saying about this vulnerability you're not going to be able to think your way through this you have to feel your way through and you're like but i i need i want to know from start to finish of what's what it's going to look like and you're not going to get that. But two of swords can also be a two-faced individual. Or somebody who's nice to your face and a plick behind your back. Two-faced friend, two-faced boss. Lover. But this two of swords is needing to get honest with yourself. So again, blindfold off and don't lie to yourself about the situation. This is like, yeah, oh, I, I just love my job. My job is just so great. It's like, no, you maybe like the money of the job, but you actually don't like the job. It's not you anymore. But the two of swords can also be avoiding Like blocked communication. Let's see what this lover's card is. It's like a disagreement though. Or indecision. Or you're butting heads with this person. Or, like I said, it's like you have to remain confident here in what you're pursuing and feel your way through and not lie to yourself about anything here. Like, because like I said, there's um, possibly 
avoiding of wanting to see the truth of a situation. Let's see what this lover's card is. And the Wheel of Fortune. Holy smokes. Expect the unexpected. Or something unexpectedly came in. But the Wheel of Fortune is about karma. Something fated and destined for you on your path. Yeah, there was like intervention, intervening here. Or somebody didn't tell you about some kind of information. Yet you might have been being very vulnerable. Or you're withholding some kind of passion. Lust. There's something about passion, attraction. But this Wheel of Fortune here, there's a change. But a change in direction for you because there's a compass here. You have the world card at the bottom. Karmic cycle complete, closure, wrapping up some kind of chapter in your life. But with the world card, this can be travel. So again, wheels, travel, eight of wands, travel, world card, travel. You might not be telling your boss that you're going somewhere or that you're pursuing something that is heart-based. But there's still this vulnerable conversation or some kind of wish fulfillment here. Let's see what this Ten of Swords is. I just want to see what this is. Ten of Swords is an ending of a situation or an impasse. Or feeling defeated, feeling depleted, burnt out. Or a dead end, like it's a dead end road. And for some of you, it could have something to do with the King of Wands. Where it's like, maybe this person said something or did something, but they didn't, they didn't follow through with something. Or they're not telling you something here. Yeah, on the Page of Swords, you found something out. Because the Page of Swords is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. Yeah, withdrawn. Or there's something about... There's somebody else here. See, there's three people. Three court cards here, Capricorn. There might have been a younger person here involved. Page of Swords is my obnoxious brat in the tarot. Or somebody who is jealous, triggered, and or a spy, a watcher. <laughs> it's somebody who keeps tabs on you. Somebody who watches your every move. But this is my parrot and this is my gossiper. So I feel like there was somebody who you trust or you, you trusted And this person like gossiped about you or it's like, it's not to per se that this is like a tri triangle of a third party. It could be, but at the same time, I feel like there's just an outside influence here or here, Capricorn. This is where you discovered or were inquiring or being very inquisitive like digging up the dirt and whatever information was withhold or you were withholding your gifts or withholding some kind of passion and you're like no I, I don't have any I don't have any talent no no I'm not I'm not very artistic you know people wouldn't desire me yeah, that's not, that's not true because there's somebody who's watching you. Um, but here, this this lurker. I don't know who this page of swords is, but you know my page of swords is somebody who talks, 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 and their words don't match their actions. Could be an air sign that you were dealing with. 
definitely an air sign or um I want to say this is a fire sign or an air sign that you're either not talking to or still holding on or there's something about this uh, jealousy. I think that somebody is going to feel triggered or upset with you if you end something. But there's transparency and vulnerability on your end or it's on the other end like something isn't fully transparent I would stick to this stick to all this energy you can't change people but what you can change is your focus and I would definitely just focus on your work and do what you like for work and instead of working maybe for this King of Wands. I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors. I connect with the strength and wisdom of my ancestors. For some of you, this is family. Or in a relationship. This is a dead end relationship. But there's children involved. So that's why I was saying there's like a third influence. But the only reason why. You know. It's like there's no passion on one end. But somebody has passion. Or there's attraction on one end. But there's no delivery. I don't know what that means either. You'll know if it resonates with you. I release negative thoughts about myself and my life. I release negative thoughts about myself and my life. And that's a 13. So again, there's a whole bunch of creativity inside your soul here, Capricorn, that you're avoiding wanting to look at or you don't think it's a gift And for others of you, you're like stuck on this King of Wands. But this King of Wands is not fully transparent with you. And you're going to find it out and put it to an end. In prayer, I commune with the universe as my dearest friend. In prayer, I commune with the universe as my deepest or dearest friend. I let go of fears that are stored in my soul right there. That's a perfect explanation. I let go of fears that are so stored in my soul. An unexpected change in job or an unexpected change in love relationship here. It's like a change of course. Ladder climbing towards success. Candle, you'll be shown the way. Younger man, dealings or relationship with a younger man. Well, here's this person. Mule, someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So again, I'm going back to we can't change people. But what we can change is our direction and our focus. Bouquet compliments from an admirer. Yeah, but they're not saying anything to you. And that's why I was saying it was like somebody scouting you out at work or checking you out at work. Fire. Strong emotion, passionate love, or hate. Dolphin. Financial gains usually coming from something you did in the past. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. 
Tulip, Great Passion, and one more. Dagger, Fear, Worries, Intense Situation. And then you have Boat, Money or Property through an Inheritance, Winning or Windfall. And we're just going to get some crystals to see what sign you might be dealing with here, Capricorn. Taurus. And Aries. And Capricorn. I also feel like when Capricorn or when I pull the crystal of the sign I'm reading for, it's to focus on you and what makes you happy versus whoever this person you're not talking to or a person who you think is transparent with you because you're being transparent with them. And this person I feel like is at a distance. You're going to find out some kind of information here and or avoid this king of wands because this king of wands is someone who is who is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change and i'll just get one more pisces pisces is about trusting your intuition for some of you you do have pisces in your chart but yeah capricorn there, yeah there's something to do with like information you need that's that page of swords as well you're going to find out information that you need that you need to hear it's going to be hard for you to hear but it's necessary for you to hear it and that two swords is no everything's just go so great I, I this person's just so great i just love my love my boss and it's like this person could be a frenemy to be honest but that looks amazing so you just keep doing you capricorn because you know i love my capricorns Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.